Hi, my name is Tom Stewart for Cleaning Business Today. I'm sitting here in the bathroom and with me I have three cleaning products that anyone who's uh, familiar with cleaning homes has certainly used many times. If you go back to your high school chemistry class, you might remember the pH scale. On one end you had a value of 1, which was something that was very acidic. In the middle you had a value of 7, which was neutral, it was neither acidic or alkaline. And all the way on the other end you had a value of 14, which was something that was very alkaline. This pH scale is logarithmic, so every time you go from a value of say 7 up to 8 or down to 6, you're really going up by a factor of 10. So if you go out two numbers from 7, you're actually up to a value of 100 times more, or out three numbers, you're up to 1,000, so you can kind of get a flavor. When you start getting out to the ends of 1 and 14, those are very powerful products that can do a lot of damage if not used correctly. Now that we've talked about what acid cleaners do and what you want to use them for and what you want to be careful not to damage with them, let's talk about some techniques that you can use to use them safely. When you're using an acid cleaner, you typically get into trouble in one of several ways. One would be when you're dispensing it, the product will run down the side of the bottle. And that's okay as long as you don't let it drip on anything that, that you don't want it to. A good technique is to use a cleaning towel and to wipe it clean. So if there are any drips, you take them off. You want to be careful where you sit them. A lot of times when you're cleaning, you really don't think about where you're putting your product down. But if I was cleaning with, with this particular product acid base, if it was running down the side, and if I sit it there, I very well might be buying myself a new marble top. What I would want to do is make sure that I place it someplace safe. And that's why I have my caddy here. If you return your acid base cleaners to your caddy, you're, you're always safe because that's not going to do any damage. If you notice also underneath my caddy, I have a cleaning towel. That's always a very good technique to use whether you're using acid-based cleaners or not because you can always have soil on your, the bottom of your caddy or product can run down the side. And that's just another easy way to make sure that you aren't getting cleaning agents on, on surfaces that you don't want to. Certainly anything that you spray, you have to be particularly careful with. Now you wouldn't be using an oven cleaner in the bathroom, but even in, a, in the kitchen, a lot of times you have stone countertops that you want to make sure that if you're spraying this, you're doing it in a way where you aren't getting overspray on any surfaces that could be damaged. One of the easiest ways to accidentally etch a soft stone is to have acid on the bottom of your bottle. And I've squirted a little bit of acid in the bottom of my caddy here, and this happens all the time. And I put my bottle in there and it's got acid on the bottom. If I take it out and I'm cleaning and I'm not thinking and I forget to put it in my caddy and I set it on a marble floor or countertop like that and leave it there for any amount of time, it will etch and leave a ring in the stone. If you notice those bubbles forming, that's the chemical reaction between the soft marble and the acid cleaner. We've left the acid toilet bowl cleaner on the marble for the last several minutes. We're going to go ahead and you see the, the bubbling has stopped. So we're going to pick it up now and uh, let's see what we have. Put this back in the caddy. Don't want to do any more damage than we've already done. Going to remove this. And if you can see, there is a ring in the marble that that would uh, require to be cut back down and polished if it could be restored. If not, you would have to replace the whole piece of marble. In any case, you're looking at hundreds if not, uh, you know, for replacing marble, maybe even thousands of dollars worth of damage for making a simple mistake of leaving your acid bowl cleaner just laying on the stone. The trick to this is to make sure that if you know that you've got a drip going down the side of your bottle or on the bottom, you want to wipe that off. If you have any acid dripped in the bottom cleaner in the bottom of your caddy, you want to make sure you keep that clean. Make sure that you use your caddy to put your products in. Don't put them directly on surfaces. It's a good idea to put a towel underneath your caddy. If you follow these procedures, you can use acid cleaning products safely. They'll save you a lot of time and they'll get you a good outcome and you won't be damaging stone and, and chrome fixtures.